Hey everybody, welcome back. It's War Hospital. Good things are happening here. We're doing great work. Shorter operation times. Like to see it. Head back over to the chemical ward. And uh, something is happening here. This guy, Clovis, he's gone into serious condition now. And I'm a little worried about Clovis because this operation ahead of him is an eight hour operation. Can he last eight hours? I have no idea. I guess we'll find out. Uh, I'm supposed to save his life, you know? It's kind of what I was supposed to do anyway. Uh, these doctors, right, are ready to go for the next wave of patients. We just have to get... Just have to get the next wave of patients. Uh, and we have everybody going to HQ here, so we're going to be great on all sorts of things. I have put in a requisition order for a bunch of supplies, so we're down to nine drafts now. It was seven, now nine. And uh, we got this. What's this? We just received a message from HQ, sir. They're asking us to help them with railway maintenance on a track nearby. If we do so, they'll grant us staff points. I like staff points. An engineer will be unavailable for 12 hours. That seems fine. So I have implemented the shifts, uh, the shift system, right? Shift schedules, right? Um, so let's just give this guy. So if I go into my staff now, each of my tabs now have this shift tab here and I can choose with a 24 hour or 12 hour and of course 24 hours is what we had before so now they're in a 12 hour shift now the downside of this is that they occupy two spaces even though they're not there at the same time that's the downside so uh in this case the only one of them is actually there right? the other one is resting and uh you can see the timers here it's very small but right now it's 5 20 p.m and uh this uses military time and this does not Again, just just up, just an observation. Um, so, 5:20 p.m. That means that these guys are now there, and they aren't, and so they'll swap in. And you can see it stalls up with a little timer next to them. And uh, same thing for the nurses now, right? And so this person's on shift. They're getting very tired, but that's okay because they're about to get a rest, a 12-hour rest, because this nurse will come in at uh 20 at, at eight o'clock basically uh and then there's engineers this one's just got sent away we can do the same thing with these guys but again if i do that they're not all working at the same time right so there's pros and cons to this setup uh i'm gonna leave the engineers on a 24-hour schedule that way i can have them all working at the same time and swap them out manually i think i'm probably okay with the nurses going on a schedule like this we'll see how that goes the reason why i like that is because remember they have their individual traits that I can't see in the screen. So I've gone into the staff tab, looked at the nurses and have said, okay, what are your traits? Where should you go? And then I put them on a schedule with that. So in this case, Lottie Roth is tiring significantly less at CCS. So I'm gonna put her at CCS, right? So we go over the assignments and we see Lottie Roth is at CCS. She starts her shift at eight o'clock. So I, I've done that with all the nurses. And the medical teams really don't have a whole lot of that, so it doesn't really matter. Certain engineers don't like to be in certain stations, and we're going to get morale boosts for keeping them out of those stations. So I've also done that. But again, without having more slots available, it, it just it feels like, you know, they should allow me to occupy more slots. You know what I mean? Like, for example, I'm able to. This is the problem I have with it. I am able to have uh i want a better example i guess we'll just go with the pharmacy i'm able to have two people in the pharmacy at once there are four slots but two of them are locked if i do the schedule system here for these guys though i'm only able to occupy one well, what if i want two people in at a time what if i want to have like a two and then these two swap out for these two right what if i want to do that like i'm able to do easily manually but it's by dragging them out and dragging new ones in well, I can't do that because it requires me to be able to occupy all the slots in order to do that. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. So I wish I would be able to uh, use the maximum staff in a slot or in a building and also do the schedule at the same time. But I, I can't do that. Uh, you know what? I'll, this guy, I'll put you in the trenches. It's fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get you uh, be a little stronger. That's going to happen after the battle, by the way. So you're going in the trenches after the fight. Uh, good on you. All right. Uh, let's see. You are... Really good. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get you fixed up. And serious conditions, like uh I'm crossing my fingers for you, dude. We're doing the oxygen thingy, right? Oxygen inhalation for everyone. 
That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make sure everybody stays alive. This guy's coming in terminal. We're just going to deny him really quick. And you, Amelia Axtell, who speed up operations in the operating wards. I like that. Um, we're going to make sure. Hmm. Tire significant slower when working solo. Yeah, well, we're not probably in the operating wards. We're probably not going to have you solo very often. I realize the schedules are that way now, but it's going to change eventually. So I think significantly better when working with others could be a good thing for you because eventually we will be putting you with someone else. So I'm going to make you warm. I'm going to give you a warm bedside manner. Okay. New patient arrived. And then you are going to go to HQ. All right. Battle is about to happen. Are we ready for this? Are we ready for this? Let me see. Nurses. I get that we're on schedules here. Uh, we're at eight o'clock, so you should be resting. And I believe that's what those blue. Yeah. The blue means you're resting. So red means that you're working right now. Okay. So everybody is doing their part here on that. I think, uh, we're good on the engineering stuff too. Let me see about improvements. Can I get a meaningful improvement here? How about unlocking alcohol production could be good, right? We're right now. I'm just spending my rations on it or my, my drafts on it, but I think that could be good. So why don't we get one of you guys to, to do that? And then, uh, thinking on the housing side, I still want this, the engineering room. I feel like I still want this. It's very expensive though. Gosh, I don't know. Decreases rest time needed for units by 10% is still pretty good. That's for everybody too. Uh, I don't know, man. How about this? Simplifications and uh, complications. Yeah, that's what it was. Simplifications is what it's called. Hmm. Casualty clearing station plus two stats for medical teams. I'm not sure what the best thing to do here is. I think we're going to do, in addition to the distillery, I think we're going to do the autoclave as well, because this will increase the speed at which we can produce things. Now that does of course mean that we're also, you know, going to use more freight in the same amount of time, but it could also mean that in situations where I only have one person working a, sp a space, they're more productive, right? That's what I ultimately want. Uh, and then we have the fume hoods as well, which seems pretty good. We can unlock different stations, have more people working in those different places at a time, which is pretty good. But we're going to do the autoclave first and uh, we'll have you guys just go in there and do that. Okay. So I think that train just came in and gave us a whole bunch of freight. So I think we're ready to rock for whatever this fight's going to bring to us. We're going to be ready to go. You could start this really easy operation there. You can start this really easy operation there. And I really need this guy's operation to get done so that this person in critical freaking condition can, can, you know, get taken care of this, this procedure is taking way too long. Jacques, how much time does he have left? Dude, he's 63% done. This is, this is taking a long time, man. You have three hours left. I don't know, man. I think that one brother's going to die. I should have put them first. He did ask me to put them first. <laughs> he really did. And not only did I put the dad first, but I also did it to where he didn't have any oxygen inhalation, which just happened to make it to where it took more time. Artillery fire. Which is not what he asked me to do. <laughs> And then I think I put him to HQ, so I didn't even bring him back to the battlefield anyway, you know? I don't think there's any reason to... Yeah, we have wounded soldiers. Oh, yeah, we do. We definitely do. Wounded soldiers are out there now. Nine? Nine out there now, but we got the medical teams on that. They're out there ready to rock. Um, I actually don't think I can afford that right now because I'd, re I'd rather have more people. So I am going to go back to my shuffling ways. And I think we'll do something like this for now there um i think for the operating wards i really need this to speed up 
So we're going to go back to the 24 hour shifts for everybody. We'll take you out of there. Rehab's not as important as everything else. Uh, I also need to make sure I have nurses here. In fact, I think actually what we should do is put you here. This should help patient states be improved by 10%. Take you out. It does. It's still 10%. Okay. Uh, what I'm hoping to see is that the patients that are awaiting surgery don't deteriorate as quickly, right? And that's what the nurses can help us do. That's going to be a problem, though. As soon as these guys start coming in from the ADS, that's going to be an issue because as soon as this fills up and we start seeing like 11, 12 out of 10, then everybody who's pending surgery begins to deteriorate a lot faster. And you can see that this person here is already going to die. There's not a lot I can do there. Um, I can save one of them. I can't save them both. I'm going to have to deny this person because I can't save them both. It's just taking too long. Um, well, maybe not. I mean, it, it, maybe not. If I, if I move the rest afterwards, it says he's, he lives. So maybe that's okay. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, and then they're not very high ranked though. That's the problem with this is that they're going to consume a lot of resources and there's going to be higher ranking soldiers later that are going to need this, these resources. And this is a very intensive thing. And he's already... He's already going to need a rest. He's going to need a rest. I'm going to deny this person. Uh, this. We're looking pretty good here. Uh, this is not that intensive. These, this surgery is kind of intensive. We're going to put a rest after this. Sir, is starting in okay, then. So. Rehab stuff. Right? I want to see. Sir, operation was successful. Yeah. Sir, is it? Okay. Is now. We have an operational emergency on John Ramsden. And uh, it's just short of rehabilitation and everything rises. That's fine. Uh, that's not what I was looking for, though. I was looking for this guy. Yeah. This guy here has got an hour and 25 minutes left. And I need his surgery to be done so that I can treat his brother, who is in critical condition right now. And I, I, I can't operate here until this one's done. So this is uh, a problem, to say the very least. And I don't think I'm able to get another trauma specialist as much as I'd want one. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have the points to do it anyway. And, uh, oh, I need a physician, but either, either way, it's the same situation. I can't get another one. So we're going to need to do improvements that allow me to do that. Right. And, uh, that was all part of it, man. So I'm thinking probably because of the limited freight intake that we have right now, I'm not sure what's more valuable to me, like more nurses more medical teams or more engineers. But because it's all it's all freight limited, right? But I think I'm going to take the engineering enhancement. And we're going to have this guy work on that for now. Um, we're going to pull you out of here to give you a rest. We'll keep working on these until we have like 10. It's 0.5 per hour. We're down to 99 rations. Yeah, this Sir, is this is tight. Is this is going to be tight. Let's put Natalie here to help with those rehabilitations faster to get those get the drafts that we need. Let's pull you out of the cemetery. I'm not sure how many we're going to need in the cemetery, but I'm going to put two right now. And uh, yeah, I think that's Sir, fine for now. What is this? What? What was that? But I asked. It looked like German Zeppelin. Yeah. Well, ain't you a perceptive? Major <laughs> Wells, I report that a German Zeppelin was forced to crash near our trenches. But there are no casualties, sir. At least, not on our side. You're not going to make me... Or you're going to ask me if I should treat the enemy, right? Is that what you're going to ask me? If I should treat the enemy, huh? Huh? Am I going to have to like, you know, you're going to Hippocratic Oath be this shit, right? Uh, shorter rehabilitation time for this guy. Okay, come on. Come on, 97%. He's got nine minutes left. My men couldn't check. Nine minutes left and he's now terminal. We've got to start this immediately. Much fire. Also, come on. Maybe some get there. It's better to leave it alone. Start it. Start it, please. I want to save both of them. Uh. 
and then we'll put you after the rest of course uh this one here we have the meds put you uh there we don't need the rest i don't think we'll be good after that and then we have a guy coming in in critical condition we can start him right away though is he worth it i think so we could amputate um and then we have a rather intensive surgery for yeah that's that's pretty intense um we'll pop you there we'll put you there and, and amputate okay what's going on here preliminary analysis indicates that the patient's mental state is stable and could recover if given enough time away from combat no need for additional medicine okay so lower chances for a wound to not heal fully and longer rehabilitation is 60 hours Pass. <laughs> 60 hours you're going to extend their rehabilitation that's not like a 60 hour rehabilitation that's extended by 60 hours all right you see me over here with 8 out of 10 in my rehabilitation center right now 8 out of 10 with tired nurses pass <laughs> no uh, I'm, not, I'm noticing i don't have to send anybody is it because the 21st is coming right because i'm supposed to survive till the 21st is what it said so uh let's go ahead and just get all the drafts we can then so it looks like that's the case actually if that's the case then i guess i could probably send you over here i'll, I'll move you to that slot before it's too late yeah, yeah. it's because eight out of ten man it's crazy i need to get you guys out of here patient is cured please tell me that we're operating all right okay okay good good operation is starting excellent it says he's back in good condition oh man we barely got him in time you know it's back in good condition though he's got the oxygen jeez had me worried that I wasn't gonna get both brothers the dude's like save my sons I don't care about me I sacrificed myself and I'm just like yeah we're gonna start with you <laughs> it's like what an asshole <laughs> it still worked out though I'm, I'm i'm pleasantly i'm pleased with the results in the end anyway uh i think we need to give some of our nurses a rest here so we're gonna go ahead and do that engineers are looking a little tired as well let's pull them out of here we're definitely gonna need to keep the meds Sir, up though medics are on the way seven drafts available and like basically well, engineers reached the bomb scene. yeah let's go ahead and order resources here um well, i'm gonna grab some more alcohol some more food rations some more medical supplies we don't have a whole lot of freight so spending that on improvements is nice but if we don't have the freight we can't do that anyway so Sir, we might as well make sure we have the resources and if that's the case, we could also stop, uh, you know, spending so much freight on, on getting stuff and maybe just do something like this. I can do something like this to spread them out a little bit more. All right. Patients are waiting for decisions in the rehabilitation center. Yeah. So this guy's ready for combat. But again, it doesn't look like I need to prepare them for combat. So I'm just going to get as many drafts as I can. Patient is cured. All right, he appears the patient's leg is infected. We would normally need to amputate, but it seems that he responds well to the medicine. I like this. One additional med, but his rehabilitation goes down by 11 hours. Sounds good because our rehab center is frequently getting close to maximum capacity. And I don't want to deal with things going to maximum capacity. I really hope oh now it says we have too few okay so this, Sir, we're not done it's not over and uh well I'm gonna need to hire I'm gonna need more soldiers then aren't I whoops we are not done with the battles yet although it does look like oh this guy's in serious condition how much time is left on this guy's surgery I wish it would show me that here like I think the one thing this game could really benefit from is the organization of information just like sharing information that matters to the player in the instances in which it matters right so like yes you'll show me this stuff but I have to go hunting for it in a completely different tab and then another tab and then find the name and then go back to this tab and then you didn't save my spot as I go back to this tab you know what I mean like it, it doesn't uh it doesn't present the information in a clean friendly way it's there you just have to look for it every single time over and over again 
So I think the one thing this game could definitely do better is, is that. Um, should I go back to shift so my nurses know? I could do that. They all have a relatively the same. I think Axe still here because she's resting. I'll make sure that she is on this shift. Yeah, she's going to rest now. Good. Uh, she'll start at eight, which I think maybe that's not the best time to implement the shift chain. I mean, that's a few hours from now. Maybe it'll be all right. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be okay. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just do the shifts here like this. All right. So we'll put those guys back on shift so I don't have to manage them anymore. And then I think same thing with the cemeteries and stuff here too. I can go down to one each on this too. Clovis is going to be on his way, right? Sir, medics are on the way. You're, are you, are you going to bring him here? Sir, there, right there. Get him in here. Clovis. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. Yeah, he's in here. I don't know what's going on with my monitor, but like these things are way off the screen. It's the, the resolution that the game wants to be in. It doesn't want to be in my full 4k. So like, like I have like a letterbox thing on my left and right side. It's very strange. Oh, well, anyway. And before you say, did you try? Yes, I did. I did try to change it. And this is the highest resolution it has. So it's not at all 4k. It's fine. It's okay. I'm going to upscale the damn thing anyway. Uh, we'll do that. Um, I'm thinking yeah, with the nurses being on schedules now, I don't have to manage it much anymore. They'll just do their thing. Um, I think we probably need more. Let's, let's hit the rations. I think hitting rations really hard is a good idea here and we're gonna pull out of these two so we don't use as many i'm gonna try, i'm trying not to use as many um Sir, medics are on the way. as much freight so that i can use them for improvements later Sir, on engineers reach the engineering depot. that's what i'm trying to do anyway the fishermen the scouts and harris's unit arrive at the river near the fisherman's hut the surprised fisherman quickly uh finishes hiding his crates under the tarp. He seems a bit nervous, but after a short negotiation, agrees to take the unit to the other side. He is, however, a little reluctant to risk smuggling the unit and will require a little incentive, as he puts it, if he want, if he was to help them. Take it by force. <laughs> Scouts will uh, take the boat by force. This will be more risk as they will not have fishermen's help. They will need to cross on their own. Not a very humane thing to do offer the fisherman incentive scout commander will offer uh two alcohol and one of our tickets uh, one of our drafts he's less risky option fisherman surely knows the river well we're gonna take another route all right we'll give you the draft harris enraged by the fisherman's insinuations declares that he will not pay the man a broken penny as he and his men have already paid tenfold with their blood the scout commander tells Harris to leave the negotiations to him, asking him to take his men to the boat. Returning to the fisherman and knowing what kind of man he is, the commander offers some pre uh, prepared bottles of alcohol uh, with alcohol and supplies. Then he gives him a smug smile and casually points to Harris's men and then to the crates in the warehouse. He asks the fisherman if he knows what the law says regarding smugglers and asks him to reconsider. There is a short pause and a look of uncertainty from the fisherman, which quickly turns to rage and then resignation. He reluctantly agrees to the commander's offer. So understood, we lose two alcohol and one of our drafts. But Sir, engineers reach the engineering depot. It's okay. Our draft stock is running low, apparently. Indeed it is. <laughs> it has been, but I'm trying to stock up. I mean eleven is not a lot. Sir, medics are on the way. I certainly wish I had more. Let's get, uh, we need to keep at least one in the, in the clearing house, but, or in the clearing station. But, um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's probably fine right there. And then the engineers. Yeah. Again, uh, we have 50 meds. No, it's, it's really just these ones we need more of. Put you down here. On the way. Let's see what we got for patients here. So everybody's in good shape and pretty high rank here too. We'll go there, there, and there. And you you cost four. I'm gonna amputate, and make you cost two. Everybody else is getting uh, taken care of right now. Sir, engineers reached the three surgeons, three surgeries. 
all operating at the same time man seems like a good thing operation emergency here we go patient has severe burns but it seems he's already started to heal on his own perfect it's gonna be a very easy surgery we need people to be on the line so these guys are not very strong we need people to fight i'm gonna put them out there but uh i'm a little bit worried about that you just received two letters from soldiers who recently came out of rehab but they want to thank for the great care uh, at the place although they sound a bit excessive if they were insincere maybe i'm overreacting understood okay are you uh are they being i mean are they gonna reward me with anything you don't just say thank you okay you give us some kind of support all right supplies New patient see we have eight wounded we need to get more people i need to bring people in here let's let's do this all right let's bring people in let's go Sir, medics are on the way. i need more medics to get out there and bring those people in all right appears the patient's body's attacked by some kind of bacteria um i don't really don't want your the thing is your rehabilitation going up by five hours isn't that big of a deal but I don't think I'm gonna really miss one med, so I'll, I'll do it. Sir, reach the casualty Five hours isn't station. that big of a deal, especially since I've got the nurses. I can, you know. Sir, operation was successful. I can just stack it with more nurses if I really need to. How's my Sir, scouts doing? Waiting for orders, they say. Okay. So, here it is, right here. After infiltrating deep into enemy territory, Harris's unit, guided by the scout team, approaches the German artillery supply warehouse there you go Sir, unit have a new okay so that's gonna be done in 20 Sir. hours in game time of course 20 hours in game time all right this guy's coming in in serious condition and uh i don't have a whole lot of sur surgeries left he only takes two meds though so i'm gonna actually bump him in front of this guy even though this guy's a higher rank i think that's a good idea and we'll pop the rest period after this. Although well, we really don't need it. I think he can probably handle one more. But just in case, we'll do that. And then uh, we'll go from there. Now, we have the ability now to hire more engineers. Yes, and I would like to have at least one more. That's all I can really afford. So we're going to order one additional engineer to come on and join our team. Uh, and then we have 13 drafts. I'm thinking we stock up on a little bit more alcohol since we're not really making much of it ourselves. Probably should do that. And then I got a feeling some chemical burns are coming. I don't know why. Maybe it's just a hunch. But I'm going to take and get five more of those just because I can. Sir, okay. Take a look at the situation. The Seems a bullet flew right through. Perfect. Goodbye. And then uh, looks like we got a couple of other people coming in serious. Oh, hi. Trauma for everyone. Beautiful. Didn't see this. Okay. Serious goes there. Um... I don't know if that guy can live. He's he got two seriouses, right? And then if, again, I have to kind of prioritize a little bit here. So the first serious is going to take four. I should have just looked at this. Um, so I only have 14 of these. I'm not sure with a 10 hour procedure, right? I, I really need another one of these guys. It's a 10 hour procedure. I'm not going to be able to get to both. And I need to prioritize those that have more combat power. So I'm going to do this. And uh, I'm going to have to hope that we find a way this guy dies. I mean, there's I can't save them all. And unless I get somebody else to do these procedures, Sir, is starting unless I can get another doctor to help me with that, I can't do them all. Uh, and I, I don't have the ability to do that unless I hit the improvements tab. And upgrade my trauma ward. 420 freight. Not so nice after all. Uh, maybe try. Uh, yeah, like the problem with this hypnosis, like it's cool and all, but it doesn't reduce the consumption of resources. And on top of that, it also makes the operation take longer the like rehabilitation goes lower but it takes it makes the operation take longer and it doesn't help me as much um 
Yeah, I, I think maybe the morgue would help here. We're going to get a lot of people here. And uh, I'm just going to hit this really quick because we're about to get a lot of people. And I can't have the, the dead taking up space in the clearing house because of uh, in the clearing station. Because if that happens, I then have the situations for everybody starts to deteriorate faster when you're not getting operated on. Um, it's not a big deal now, but it's probably going to be, be a big deal in the near future. So I think I think there's no way I can treat this guy. So we're going to put both of you in there. And then it's very unlikely. I think it's very unlikely that we save all of these guys, but we're going to try. Uh, maybe because these are all rank three. Yeah, I mean, I, I get three for five here. What's the cost? Like this is for three, three. These guys definitely cost less. There's a higher chance for failure on this one too. Saw his king for the first time at the front lines. Not seem to, but he did not seem to him a man worth dying for. Oh, okay. Yep. Has learned to fall asleep with a prayer on his lips. Interesting. Um, yeah, I, I think, I think I, what I have to do here is, is acknowledge the fact that I can't have everything. And instead we're going to take the procedures that take less time put them first so that we have a higher chance getting to everyone we just need to start before so i'm gonna i'm gonna ditch this guy too sorry um we're gonna do this this allows me to do this guy and then get to him sooner and then if i can get these two procedures done you know they're all in good shape um well now they're all in good shape i really wish i could like see all of these you know like pull out only the ones i want if I start with a serious one, these guys might live. That's the thing. If I start with a serious one, it's fine, but it's still four meds. So it might put me to the point where I can't, I mean, I, I think by the time, yeah, yeah. I mean, by the time we get to this guy, we're, we're totally going to have more than this, right? It's gotta be a case. I'm going to put a rest period right there. All right. I'm, I'm just going to try to save him anyway. We'll see what we can do. Sir, engineers reached the construction site. All right, we, nef we definitely need combat uh, capacity here. So let's put you there and we're going to put you here and it's still too few. Wow, they are going to be coming at us hard here, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, this is not, this isn't good. This is going to be a big battle, right? Because it's all still too few. But this is the time we're supposed to live till. Survive until 5 a.m. on June 21st. That's 5 a.m. right there. That's got to be 5 a.m. on the 21st. So... I'm thinking maybe it's just gonna like nothing is enough is what I'm thinking. <laughs> like you're going to send as many as you want and you're not going to get anything back for it. Right. Sir, operation was successful. But I don't know that. So I, I feel like I have to do it anyway. Operational emergency. I like seeing short rehabilitation times. All right. This guy's serious. We can get him right there. That's fine. We'll get you a rest after that. No big deal. This guy's in good condition. Put him there. We have an operating or operating right there. Yep. I think we're going to be able. I think we're going to be all right. I think we're going to get enough meds. This guy's taking three. Okay. So we've already made enough. Yeah. We'll get him and then we'll be able to treat him too. We'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. This is a serious one right here. We can go. Uh, I think we. I think we'll take the amputate there. Just to save on the resources. Sir, new patient arrived. Sir, All right. Operation With the more construction successful. finished, it means that people who are dead won't occupy bed spaces. So I can technically, if somebody dies on the operating table or whatever, and we haven't quite gotten to the chance to get them to the cemetery yet, shouldn't matter as much. This guy. Oh, I get it. He's, Sir, he's getting promoted. He's wandering, but he's getting promoted. All right. So this is a medical team person. He's ambitious already. We can have him be passionate. Tire significantly slower. I like it. He gets tired less. He gets tired much slower because he's passionate. You see that, guys? All you have to do is be passionate. Just show that passion. Sir, operation was successful. That's nice. I Sir, like successful operations. All right. So there's nobody else left in the trenches. 
can pull you guys out and give you a rest. Let's pull you out and then stick you there. And uh, nurses, how we doing? Switch back to Axel there. Put Natalie over there and rehab, rehab. And then everybody here, let's get you back on meds, back on food. And we want to hit this because this is what we're trying to we're trying to save these people right here. So we want to make as many of these as we can. And uh, we'll keep going on food rations too. Okay, I'm gonna let it run. I'll be right back. Well, hang on. We got this right here. An engineer comes at your desk looking a bit down. There's this fellow I'm working with. He starts. He's always trying to do things differently. We've, we've already had this event. And uh, I'm just going to let him experiment. Because I just I like to see chaos sometimes. You know, it's like Frostpunk where you're like, you don't know what's going to happen. I just, I think whatever's, whatever chaos comes my way, I'm going to be able to handle it, you know. But maybe something good comes from it. Who knows? It still says too few. I got to, I'm worried that I could just put a bunch of people in there and it won't matter. Right? Because that's the date that we're waiting for, right? This is the date. 21st at 5 p.m. So... I'm, I'm thinking no matter how many people I send to the trenches, it won't matter. <laughs> but I would like to see it shift to good just to prove myself wrong there. I would really like to see that happen. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. Doctor starting a new shift. Yeah. So look at like they don't have a big queue. I'm liking this. You know, chemicals are ready to go. We got 15 awaiting. Sir, patient is cured. Okay, so somebody just re recovered from rehab, this guy here, but he will never fully recover. And that's probably because I amputated his leg or something. It happens. Sometimes, Sir, patient is cured. sometimes you have to take the leg. Sir, new patient arrived. Has severe burns, already started to heal on its own. I, they need Sir, more variety in the events too. I, I, think, I think that would be one thing I'd like to see too is more variety Sir, and that would be great. I'm still not making my own alcohol, by the way. I've just been, they're just buying it the whole time. This entire game, I've just been buying it. It's cause it's, you get 10 of them for one draft. I mean, it, it's no brainer. Like that's, it's fine. You need them to make other things. So you just keep buying the alcohol only. It's fine. I'll do this too. All right. I don't know whether I'm going to need those drafts. I might regret that, but Sir, patient is cured. I think I'll regret running out of med supplies more. So I'm going to spend that. A couple of people are stable. Pop you right there. It's a fairly in energy intensive surgery. I think you're fine after this. So I can put you here. Yeah, that's okay. How many, how many meds for you? Three. That's fine. If you're, I think it's, New patient arrived. I think like two, one med per, or was it like two meds? Two meds per level is, is acceptable to me. Like right here, you're a little bit expensive, right? I could do that. This thing is still buzzing at me. What's going on here? What are you buzzing at me for? You got everything I need. What's going on here, huh? It's like a yeah, intensive thing. I'm clicking the button. Nothing's happening. What's going on? Right? There's nobody stressed out. There's nobody close to death. There's, there's no emergency. Yeah. Staffing is fine. What are you buzzing at me for? C casualty clearing station, huh? What are you doing? Uh, let's bring... I think it's Natalie who wants to be here and then we'll bring you around and I just want two people in the rehab center. Uh, all right. So I don't know why that's doing that. That's a little, that's a little weird. Uh, let's put you here. Ah, good. Oh, it, it says good. I, I, I feel happy now. Okay. So it's not all in vain. Excellent. Uh, we have 413 freight, 403 freight, um, improvements, trauma ward. Right? I feel like trauma ward could be a good time for another doc. I don't have the staff points for it, but it could be a good time for another doc. Maybe more medical teams too. And uh, we need more spots for them though. It decreases the amount of rations used by half rations uh, used by normal rations. Okay. So we could, we could do the warm keeping stoves, right? And then we would use less rations. That's probably something better to do as well. And then the nutritious ones would help morale, but I don't need help with morale. We're doing really well with morale. I want, uh, 
I'll make my own alcohol here pretty soon too. Medical storages, scouting is not, doesn't matter. I don't think, I, that's what I need. I, I, want, I think I want the trauma center to go up or a, a better, a bigger trauma center to get another dock. If that's possible to get another dock, I'd like that. But unfortunately, I don't have the, I don't have the drafts. Pharmacy, are you, uh, what? Just because nobody's assigned? I, I I don't know why you're, why you're mad at me. There's nothing I can do about that. All right. Well, looks to me like you're exhausted. We'll do this and then we'll do this. And then let's pull you out of there and bring you over there. All right. People got to shift around, you know? Look at this. Like, why are you guys all queued up? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Are you not bringing me patients? Is that what this is? Are you telling me? Like, what are you? What are you telling me right now? Because you've been freaking out this entire time. Medics are on the way. patient is cured. You've been freaking out this entire time, and now you're not. Medics reach the casualty clearance. And these these things are piling up, so I'm wondering whether we're actually getting these patients. Or if they're just bugged and they're not going to show up. Because there's three paddy wagons right here. And there's nobody in my rehab center now. I'm concerned that maybe something is busted. I don't think I've ever had it this empty. You know? Like, this is empty. So, let's just get everybody on single shifts right now. Might yeah. as well get people rested up. But... I might need to reboot the game just to see because I got these three vehicles right here that should be bringing me people. And you see this guy, I, there's no way we can get to him in time. We don't have enough people. That's why I've, that's why I've got to get, uh, that's why I've got to get another doctor, you know, improvements, the drafts, but I can't get the drafts if I don't get people rehabilitated, you know? I need you rehabilitated in order to get the drafts. Oh, I probably should send you. Uh, I probably should send that guy. You got two. Yeah, I should send you here just to make sure. Yeah. I want the drafts. I, I want some drafts, though. So, All right, so I rebooted, I like, my whole computer. <laughs> and look, they, they pulled them out of the trucks right away. So, okay, I guess that's a thing now. Um, All right, so morale... Rises with that one. Good. Now I can actually see what's going on in here. Uh, okay. I need you. Resting. Um, mm. Yeah. You're going to be done first. I want this to happen first. And then you, I can put here with like a quick amputate, I guess. It's fine. But like right away, as soon as I booted the game up again, it, it did it for me. So that's fine. But we're back to too few here because I had to like, of course you know, redo the, the save file and everything. But now we're back to good. And now we're going to be nice and strong. I want those though. Still, I still want the, I still want some drafts. I need it. All right. Good. Shorter rehabilitation is great. Set. Now they're car starting to come in. Beautiful. All right. This guy is expensive. E expensive AF. Stable, but expensive. We're going to amputate there. Uh, over here, we're going to grab you first and then you're very intensive as a procedure, but we'll go ahead and, uh, I mean, you're, we can just do a full rest before that. I guess you're stable. You are declining pretty rapidly though. We'll, we'll go like this. It's fine. If that doctor gets tired, then the doctor gets tired. It's, it's okay. All right. Let's pull you out. I, I still, I'm still micromanaging here a little bit. Yes, but I think it's, I think it's worth it. You get everything you, you need, uh, right away. And then I want a little bit more. I think the trauma meds are okay. Let's, let's actually stop. Yeah. We'll just, we'll leave one on each of these. It's fine. You need to be swapped out. Yep. We'll go back to two at ADS and two at cemetery here. Sir, are on the way. What's the ADS right now? All right, we actually don't need that many at ADS. It's fine. Sir, engineers reached the pharmacy. 
Yep. Look at they, they they rehabilitate so fast, don't they? They grow up so fast. Uh, there. Still gonna be considered yeah. good, but I we're reinforcing the front lines really good now. Like we're sending a lot of people out that way. Uh, I see these little portraits that keep popping up, right? All the different surgeries. I do wish that I could interface with these in some way. Like if I hover, maybe you show me the patient's information. If I click it, maybe you go directly to their procedure, right? So like, for example, uh, I should be able to see, you know, this guy's being, being operated on, right? Ed, Edward Gord, right? So if I was to click his picture right here, maybe I, maybe you show me this, right? I mean, that would be, that'd be reasonable. You know, she can see the operated time and I can see some information about him, whatever, right? They, they, you know, show me his card or something. I think that'd be, uh, I don't think that's too much to ask. Uh, over here. Yeah. If you're new to the channel, this is about the time, you know, we get about six, seven videos in. This is about the time where I start to offer my thoughts on the game and sort of reflect on things that I have experienced and sort of like how I would change my experience for the better. And so it's not being, I'm not being harsh. I'm not being, I don't think I'm being overly critical. It's just my time where I can go in and say, you know, it's been cool, but what if, and I, I, I like to do that with pretty much every game I play, at least for the first time, if it's a multiple series thing. Then, you know, I don't need to say it again, but if it's the first time I've ever played something, then I like to give those thoughts because I think there's definitely room for improvements in almost everything I've ever played. So it's just whether or not those improvements are meaningful enough to invest the time and money into making, which is entirely up to the devs to decide that kind of thing. And um, I don't have any direct communication with them with this game or anything, but um, it's uh, it's just something I do every time. So uh, let's put you down here. And then before we begin to use all these freight, see if there's any... Oh, right. This takes 420. Sir, medics are on the way. <sighs> okay. On the other side, the warehouse turns out to be a large complex of sheds and storage spaces created to store munitions and artillery parts built to be easily defensible. For a small unit like theirs, there is little hope for a quick and easy victory. Regardless of the odds, Harris is adamant that they need to storm the warehouse. <laughs> I'm shaking my head right now. Uh, there should be documents inside that might contain intel on current enemy movements. A gold mine full of TNT, boys, as Harris puts it. The scout commander is not so sure, as the only way to take the encampment is to storm it without any cover or support. He offers an alternative. They should wait and observe, likely to spot transport bound for the artillery camp, and they can follow that and gain information without using a, losing a single man. If I agree to storm the warehouse, the plan is risky and can result in a lot of casualties, but could also provide additional resources and useful intel for HQ. Convince them to follow the transport has a high chance of success and virtually no chances of casualties among the soldiers. It should boost uh, the soldiers' morale a little. Absolutely. <laughs> At first, Harris dismisses the scout commander's proposed proposition impatiently. They need intel from inside, he expresses firmly. The commander, however, is patient. He reminds Harris of the true goal of their mission, which is too important to fail. It takes some time, but Harris finally desists from storming the warehouse. <laughs> the, the, the scouts are sent to, uh, to observation positions, uh, and the wait begins. It is, however, brief as artillery shells that can be used only by powerful guns of forward artillery are being loaded into trucks. It seems that Lady Luck was on their side. Regardless of his reluctance, Harris admits that the scout commander was right in his judgment. Okay, now I need to give them orders again, right? Like right away? Because that's the thing that this Sir, game wants me to do. Yeah, you have to go in and... I really wish it would just naturally continue it. You know, like, instead of making me come back here and p pick the point. I get it. But like the story is progressing. So when I hit understood, it's not like my guys are just going to come on back now and do nothing, right? We're going to continue with the story. The scout team gained the position of the forward artillery. All that was left to confirm the location and find a way to destroying it. So yes, naturally we would do that. Scout unit started a new mission. All righty then. How's my people doing in here, huh? This guy's turned to serious. 
Yeah, we can see that happening. Uh, I'm going to hit you with the gas. I'll make your procedure a little easier. Uh, let's pop you right here. You should start that immediately. Should be really easy. And then in the rehabilitation center. Come on, you make make it strong, please. <laughs> I've got so many, so many people going to the front lines when I desperately need drafts. I would really like to have drafts instead, but I mean, I have good resources, right? Like, I'm not short on anything, desperately short on anything, so it's it's okay. But it's uh, man, oh man, how much do I need to give you? You know, <laughs> apparently a lot. I need to give you a lot of people for this. This is a uh, this is a battle that we really want to win because whatever's going to happen, I got a feeling it's going to, it's going to overwhelm me with just like a ton of, just, we're going to have a ton of patience after this. It's going to have to be a huge battle, right? All right. Natalie Wise, you're helpful in the operations board. Okay. Um, I think I might just give you others working with them tire less. We're probably going to end up having you know, two in the operations board. Eventually it's going to be, you know, kind of two at a time. So, um, yeah, yeah, I like this. So there's working tires less. So I, I like that idea. We're going to get you paired up because I, I, I would normally have two in the operations board. I like that bonus that it gives, uh, you know, with only with two in there, it's plus 35% to the operation effectiveness with only one in there. It's 19%. It's a pretty good bump. And I, I do tend to have two people in here all the time often. Uh, same with the rehabilitation center because without two in there you get no bonus at all but with two in there you get almost twice the twice as fast on rehabilitation so it's really fast that way Sir, on the way. which is fine in this case like having these guys the normal time is fine uh but if it starts getting crowded then i need people to rehabilitate faster and then surgeries and stuff can can allow that to happen too i guess all right, so he's not going to die. We got him the oxygen in time. And my surgeons have nothing to do. And that feels actually really good. Sir, new patient arrived. The, the surgeons have zero to do. That's awesome. I love it. Let's put these guys on shifts now. We don't need them to do this anymore. Uh, yeah, two shifts, two shift. I like it. Um, I, I don't think you need that, really. Let's do this. Nurses, we'll get you back on shifts as well. Uh, we want Xtel in this one. Weiss needs to be here. Lottie's over here, and then you are here. Twelve-hour shifts for everyone. Sir, medics are on the way. All right then. So, do I let it run until the end of the scout? Sir, so you guys can see that. I think so. I'm gonna let it run until the end of the scout, and I'll be right back. I didn't go to amputate on that one, and. This one's pretty good. We'll go ahead and have you work on that one. Uh, we got a dude here wanting to talk to me. So let's go ahead and hit that. It says, Praven enters your room in an angry mood. Why didn't you ask me, sir? He bristles. It's good that they're creative, but they can't be let loose. We can't be doing all of these ideas. He catches breath and speaks quietly. Please just speak to me about such matters. Looks like he understands them better. Uh, you talking about the brilliant fellow? Yeah, choice consequences. He understands them better. So, does this mean he's something bad happened? I guess I'm confused by that sentence. I don't, I don't exactly know what the consequences of that are. It doesn't seem to have affected me any. So, <laughs> whatever. Sir, operation was successful. If it doesn't affect me, then I guess. Uh, I think this is happening again, right? Um, one thing it could be is it could be these guys, you know, like I have people here. There's three teams on this, but I've put them on schedules, but I mean, there's still a lot of people here. So I'm curious on like, why yeah, are, on the way. are they not loading, unloading the, the cars and bringing them in? Right. That's what I'm trying to figure out. And I think one of the solutions here is just like, there's a lot of people in here waiting for transport. And so I've, I've treated them so quickly that they need to be moved all over the place. And they're just, they're just overloaded. Like I need more medical teams. Maybe that's just the way it is. Um, on the way to the artillery camp, the German forward artillery camp consisted of around two batteries worth of cannons lined up in neat rows with a stack of shells beside each. 
covered with a, with uh, tarpaulin. Uh, it was hidden in the remains of an open pit mine, deep in the woods, guarded by multiple anti-aircraft guns, guard stations, and at least two platoons of German soldiers. An overwhelming force. Impossible to defeat, even with a full force of Harris's unit. The scout team knows that they have no way of defeating this force, and their only course of action is to return to HQ and notify them about the camp's position. So the scout team will notify HQ about the artillery camp positions, and HQ will now provide four drafts and two staff points reward for finishing the mission. Good, I needed that. Harris looked at the camp and whistled silently in wonder. Damn big camp they have there, don't you think, boys? He smiled, then took the commanders aside. Your boys should stay put when we deal with the camp, just in case the plan fails, he proposed, but with a tone that left little room for objections. The scout commander, surprised by this position, wanted to refuse, but ultimately agreed to Harris's plan. He should not put his men and the entire mission into jeopardy solely for the glory of battle. Not long after scouts retreated, a firefight could be heard from the German camp, multiple short skirmishes rather than a big battle. Then a giant explosion shook the earth and trees. <laughs> Returning to the German camp, the scouts could see the damage. The entire open mine was destroyed, the artillery cannons buried under rocks and dirt, and then there was Harris and some of his men proudly staring at the, rub staring at the rubble, smiling grimly. What? <laughs> really? HQ will be pleased that the enemy artillery camp was taken care of and will provide an additional six drafts and two staff point rewards for finishing the mission. This huge success fills the whole company and the hospital with hope and determination. More morale. Scout unit has started a new mission. Wow, that's a pretty good morale bump. We're up to 86% now. Sir, patient is cured. That's pretty wild. Uh, do I need to actually come back or are you coming back? On the way back, okay. Wait, what does that say? On the way back to... Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. You're coming back here. Uh, so I just have to wait for them to return, which is over a day. Returning to HQ in a day. So that should be right around the time our, uh, Sir, our mission objective happens, alive. pretty much. Yeah, we're not going to have a longer uh, rehabilitation like that. We're not, we're not doing that. I don't have the space in my rehab center for that, boys. I'm sorry. Uh, let's put you... Uh, here. Oh, it's strong. Oh, it's strong. We did it. I didn't know how many people. Dude, that's a lot. You have to put a lot of soldiers for this last one to get that to turn blue. Like, I, I probably... I, I probably sent them, I think at this point, six or seven. Uh, three. Rank threes. Like, uh, probably six or seven rank threes to get that to strong. And, and then on top of that, like, there are some twos and ones and stuff thrown in there too, but... Uh, it was definitely, it was definitely a big one. Um, I still want this, but I'm not sure I need it anymore. You know, we're doing okay. The way it is. Uh, yeah. Severe burns. Body started to heal already. Same things we've seen before. So we'll just go ahead and get that done. And then, uh, let's pop you guys out of here. Give you guys some rest. Uh, I got these guys on shifts. This one's not on shifts. Because I, I need them to move the bodies. Yeah. I, I need them to, to attend to these cars when they get here. They're not they're not doing that very fast. Uh, okay, let me see what we got here. We got a serious condition person here. It's going to take a lot of energy. But not a lot of supplies. And we could just give him oxygen. So we'll do that. And then uh, you, in good condition, will be right immediately after that. And that's worth it. That's fine. Uh, on this side of things, we've got stable. This guy's now degraded to stable, but that's okay. We're working through this with our one, you know, single person here. We're working through it. It's just going to take a very long time. Um, I think the rest should be after. It's the sky will be fine. And then over here, let's put you there. Let's get you on the schedule for you next. And then we should go here with an amputate and here with an amputate all righty then well guys i think that's the end of today's video isn't it which means next video is going to be the one 
where we get to see what the heck happens on June 21st. You know, what's going to happen on June 21st? I keep moving these nurses out, you know, because they're really tired. And they don't, they don't seem to be able to make it through a shift, a 12 hour shift, right? I think you really need to have the eight hour shifts to make this work. And that's over here, the triple shift system all the way over here, which I can't do this because I need the casualty clearing station enhancement two and the rehabilitation center enhancement two. I need both of those first. Yeah. So that requires me to spend a lot of resources to get there. So for now, we're going to have to just manually manage these, uh, some more, which I think is okay, but like 12 hour shifts, people get really tired on those, which I mean, it makes sense. It's a 12 hour freaking shift. <laughs> I mean, who's not going to get tired on a 12? Do you go to work for 12 hours at a time and not get tired about it? If you, if you, don't lie. <laughs> there's always, there's always somebody in there. It's just like, yeah, man, that's easy. I do that yeah, all the time, man. The it's like, what do you, I mean, that's like, this, 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 the job, man. Uh, let's get some more alcohol. Gonna need some more. There, medics reach the casual so now I'm down to one draft again, but the good news is I can now get more drafts because we're already strong in the battlefield yeah. for this battle. So I like that. And that's okay. I want the morale to go up anyway. 88% morale, man. We are looking stellar. Sir, Everybody's got lots and lots of hope in this camp. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a good one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.